One. A musician traveling on a train from Cardiff called the police yesterday, saying that someone had stolen his expensive violin. When the police stopped the train to catch the thief, they saw the violin under the musician's seat. The man was coming back from a concert, fell asleep during the journey, and forgot to take it with him when he was getting off the train. The violin was made in Italy in 1748 and is worth about a million euros. Two. Two hundred passengers travelling on a ferry from Ireland found themselves in trouble last night when it caught fire over twenty miles off the Irish coast. The crew of a ship passing by saved everybody on board and transported them back to Ireland. Fifteen passengers were taken to hospital, but their lives are not in danger. The police are going to question the owner of the company because the ferry was quite old and in need of repair. Three, a man who broke into a luxurious apartment was trapped in a lift for eleven hours. When the lift stopped between floors, the man tried to open the door with a screwdriver, but the lift had a special lock which closed him inside. The man panicked and set off the fire alarm. The fire brigade and the police arrived within a few minutes, but it took the specialists a few hours to rescue the man from the lift, and then they locked him up again. This time in prison. Four. The Royal Navy's newest submarine hit some rocks near the Isle of Skye. It happened yesterday in the evening while the ship was doing some sea tests. Luckily, no one on board was hurt, but some systems are not working properly. The submarine is the Royal Navy's most technologically advanced ship. After the necessary repairs, the ship will return to port for a closer inspection. Five. Some city centres have become dangerous areas, but in Wellington, New Zealand, they have found a way to reduce crime. Soft classical music coming out of speakers has made the number of criminal incidents fall from 86 a week to four a week. People feel much safer, and the young don't get into trouble so often now. If it works, other cities could consider using the same idea.